Doctor. I think we should have found her. She must have been weighted down with lead because she sank so quickly. Captain, it looks like murder to me. Very well, Mr. Johnson. You may go now. But keep your suspicions to yourself. We don't want to panic aboard. Don't worry, Captain. I'll keep my mouth shut. I hope those restrictions don't apply to me, Captain. I must send a wireless to my editor. That'll be all right, Miss Whiting. We'll be in Wilmington before the news can leak out. Thanks, Captain. If you'll excuse me, I think I'll run up to the wireless shack now. Mr. Andrews, we are faced by a serious problem. Wouldn't our best bet be to catch him as he tries to land? Exactly. And as you are familiar with this case, I'm going to ask you to help me and my men. I think we can spread a watch on deck. It will be impossible for him to get through. There. I don't think our friends do know there's any difference. It's perfect, sir. to do. I'm going to restore 
for now this inanimate piece of clay to life. But that life will belong to me. And my will shall govern all his actions. And remember all of you, if you are ever tempted to cross me as he did, the same thing will happen to you. Grogan. Grogan, listen to me. Bhutan speaking. Look at me. in Los Angeles. We know that because he's already been warned. Well, we'll have to get there first, that's all. And to facilitate rapid transportation, she engage taxi automobile right away. Buddy, I warned you we were out of gas. Mommy, the driver said we needed gas. Yes, but we needed to know where that cab was going even more. You all thought Sonia Rukoff was dead, didn't you? Well, she isn't. She's in that taxi. We still have a comeback. Willie, get out in the street and hail the first cab. Don't pay off the driver while Wong and I do some telephoning. All right, but I'll leave you to hand the expense account to my editor. Wong, telephone your brother. Tell him we'll be right over. Ask him to hold any message he gets from the taxi company for me. I have the number of Sonia Rokov's cab, and I'm going to see if I can get some information about it. Yes, sir. Take him in there and put him on the bed. Then come back in here to me. Yeah. I like being left alone with him either. My brother, Miss Whiting, Mr. Andrew, Mr. Fu. My brother, because of the warning he has received, does not feel very well. I have already asked him 
If there's a phone, has a right for you. No one has called yet. Could that possibly be... That's answered, Mr. Andrews. Maybe for you. Hello? This is Martin Andrews speaking. I see. Where did you take them? Get a pencil and write this down. I carried the bag as far as 316. She paid me off there. No, didn't go in. Got the address? The apartment number is 316. We'll take Willie and get out there right away. My brother's car's outside. We can take it. Good. We've located Miss Rokoff. Willie, I want you to go with me. Joan, I want you to... You go along with you. I'm ready, Marty. Oh, what are you going to do with a woman like that? Knowing Lady Joan, I would suggest taking her. An excellent idea, Willie. Oh, all right. Is he still asleep? As if he were. That pill you gave him. Are you sure it didn't? I don't know. Holtan gave it to me. Said it was a mild sedative. To use it if Grogan got nervous, excitable. That's all he said. He didn't tell me anymore. He never tells me anything anymore. to do something we didn't like. We couldn't help ourselves, I tell you. And then when we saw what happened to Grogan, I can't go on, I can't tell you. <laughs> what happened to Grogan? The old man, all right. But it's Grogan, too. I could never forget him. He isn't dead. Hypnotized. Nothing you can do in this condition. 
Now, what's the name of the man who did this? Mr. Rokoff, you promised to help us in return for our protection. But we can't protect you unless you tell us the name of the man... Bong. Like the other one, she's hypnotized. Couldn't have been he who hypnotized her anyway. He was just a hired thug. Whoever did it must still be around here. 